Hi guys, welcome to another home tour and this time we're in Unionville. So this is one of those homes that we have a common space with the front foyer, the living room and the dining room. So we had to make sure our furniture works very well and has a nice flow in between the three spaces. So we did our oversized sofa here with the channel design. We matched that up with our accent chairs, which also have the same design of the channels going through. They're not the same fabrics, but they're in the same family of colors, which is perfect. Then we did a couple of accent tables and our coffee table and an eight by 10 rug. Guys, don't forget, your rug has to be sitting just under your furniture at least. We added our long console table here, and something I love about this design is that it's actually so muted that it doesn't create too much of an eyesore. So it's there, but then it's kind of airy and light and bright, which I absolutely love because then I paired it up with this beautiful art piece here, this beautiful canvas that has all the right colors in it, black, beige, white, gray. And we did our table lamps to add a little bit more of an ambiance to the room because sometimes lighting is not enough and you need to add to it. So then coming into the dining room here, we have our eight seater wooden table. And I decided to do a solid piece because the floor here is really dark and I felt that it would actually flow nicely together. So instead of bringing in another material or another finish of wood, we kind of tried to match it with what's happening on the hardwood. Then we did our absolutely beautiful linen gray chairs, which also have the gray uh, which also have the brass details and this flows nicely with our accent chairs that we did in the living room and as well it goes perfectly with the console table that we have in the foyer and let me just show you this because this has some beautiful webbing design with the gold on top and the bronze underneath and again you can see all of the accessories kind of match and flow so what's happening here in the foyer is continued into the living room and continued into the, into the dining room and we have a great flow of materials the family room and the family room is yes definitely one of the most important spaces in a house Sometimes it's considered the great room because you don't have a living room, but then when you do have a living room, it's considered the family room because this is the area where all of the gathering happens. So what we had to do here was, again, with an open concept space, we had to make sure that we're not blocking entries, we're not blocking walkways, and to keep the flow moving. So we decided to use our three-seater sofa, has a nice tufting detail to it, which kind of creates a casual yet elegant style and aesthetic for the room and we have our wing chairs that we actually ended up keeping from our clients so they had these previously in the living room and since i wanted to modernize the living room a little bit i decided to move these beautiful wing chairs into the family room and use them as corner seating so we have our sofa facing the TV, we have our beautiful wooden coffee table, and again, one of the reasons I decided to do a wood top dark table was because I wanted it to flow with the hardwood because it's quite dark. And we did the same in the dining room, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful because then you have the gold finish that really pops on the wood and makes it look a little bit more luxurious versus going too casual and just doing all wood. So one of the things that we don't usually see in homes these days is natural wood burning fireplace. Everything is substituted with gas these days, right? So it's nice when you see something like this. We decided to add the logs beside it because it creates more of a homey effect and also shows off the fact that it is natural wood burning fireplace, which a lot of people like, myself included. 
and then we had the wall of accessories guys this is one of the more challenging things to do when you're staging or styling a house is making sure that you have the right accessories when you have a beautiful custom wall unit like this right you don't want to just put anything in so what did we do we grabbed the tones used in the house and the metals which is the blacks and the golds and the whites and we kind of brought it all together in the wall unit. So one of the things that I love to do is to neutralize. And how do I neutralize? I neutralize by using whites and clear pieces. So these guys here are my natural wonders. I absolutely love these guys. It's actual wood. And it has a tinge of green color, which gives it a little bit of life but it's not too overwhelming to kind of um, attract the eye to it, right? So it, it's used as, a, I would say, a piece that is a little bit more muted. So you need that as well. Aside from your pieces that are more contrast and bold, like here and here, we use the golds and the blacks against the white, but then we have some of the neutralizers that we've used throughout, like the wall pieces in white. So the basic tones of the family room were kind of more of the pastel colors, earth tones. So we have the light blues on the curtains, we have the whites on the walls, we have the sandy and beigey tones happening in the furniture, which we've accented well with our accessories. And then we come into the kitchen, and as you can see, where the inspiration for all of the minty and blue tone comes in from is the backsplash. So this backsplash actually works really well here. Typically, I would not be for this look because I find it a little busy, but I find with this house and the color tones that have been used here, it works really well. One of the other things that we did here was replace the light fixtures. So they previously had three pendants that were maybe also not so nice and we decided to change them and upgrade them to these beautiful glass um, light fixtures where actually if you have a look at the light bulb, it's a diamond shaped Edison bulb and this is not cheap at all. It's pretty expensive, but it really makes the light look really nice. So guys, it's really in the fine details, right? And this goes to prove it. Okay, oh my God, I love this skylight here. Natural light is absolutely irreplaceable. So then we come into the, wow, my goodness, this bedroom looks phenomenal. Okay, I absolutely love this. Wow, this turned out so well, guys. So we have our custom king size bed here, which is done in a gray wood. And we decided to match it with our nightstands, which are very similar, not exactly matching wood, but same color scheme. And come here and we really needed a sitting area because this bedroom is so huge. So we decided to do a love seat in front of the king bed. And instead of doing a regular coffee table, we decided to do this beautiful ottoman, which is in like a minty fabric and it has the brass details, which is beautiful. I love this setting. It adds so much luxury to the space. And we still had even more room. So we did a beautiful sideboard, which could even do a TV over it and just watch from your bed. So we only styled this house last week and we've already had a few offers on the house. So I'm sure by the time this video gets uploaded, the house is gonna be sold and we're gonna be super excited about the news as always. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. You know we love hearing your feedback, so give it to us, good or bad, we wanna hear from you. If you haven't checked out our Instagram page, Go check it out at Style with Sanas and we will see you next time. Later.